How to Draw Ears by Vladimir London I will make another quick sketch of an ear to explain its geometry. Here we go. The helix, the lobule, the antihelix, and the antitragus and the tragus separated by the notch. Now I will show you one unique method of drawing the ear's geometry, which I developed. You won't see it anywhere else. Let's start with a square. This square is divided into four quarters. At the bottom, one more small square is added. It is equal to one quarter. I connect the center of the big square with the bottom corner. This point divides the width of the quarter in half. Through this point goes the line where the ear connects to the head. As you can see, the width of the ear is half of its height. Small squares divide the height of an ear into three equal parts. The line inside the middle square is divided in half. This is the center of a circle that represents the concha. Another circle of the same size encompasses the lobule. And the big circle represents the outline of the helix. I will make another sketch to show how this geometry describes the ear's outlines and contours. Once again, here's the big square with its center and the smaller one. Two tilted lines go as described previously. Here's the circle of the contra and the big circle of the helix. The lower third is occupied by the circle of the lobule. Now I will add contours of an ear. The helix crust goes through the cross point of the circle and the line. The tragus is aligned to the tilted line and sits between two small circles. The antitragus touches the middle circle. And the antihelix follows the contour of the concha circle.